it already on? Yeah. Okay. Phone is re was really confused about where I was, but finally figured it out. Um, thought a lot about what bike to ride. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll listen to uh, some informative podcasts. Maybe I won't talk over them. Um, yeah. Let's see. When you look at what that means, for example, in the cloud, it's unparalleled access to support data when they need it and how the provider can get it in the process of helping This is what I them. used to do, go into Nagios. You can allow customers to access the data to help them solve their problems more quickly as well. On the social side, that collaborative provider support delivery system can get customers to resolution more quickly, and it can improve the peer-to-peer -peer consultations that can happen in support. The analytics, I think, is probably the most exciting. Big data analytics, the ability to actually get to predicting and resolving issues before they impact any kind of IT system, and then personalizing support delivery as well is a big part of that analytics and big data piece. The more customer data that has been safely, but harvested and looked at and, and making sure that you're meeting what customers need, the more you can use that data for that purpose, the more robust the actual support experience will be. If you looked at each of these four categories I talked about, you would have different providers who are excelling in this area. So um, there's no one support provider who's doing outstanding job in all four. Our providers are sort of playing across different spaces and maybe focusing investments in one versus another. Um, but there is not at this point in time one provider who's actually gone across all four areas and really used it to streamline the support experience. Software companies are going through the digital transformation just like everybody else. It's a pretty long journey, so it's going to take a while, I think, for providers to really have that true function. So our research at IDC is showing that when it comes to machine learning and the Internet of Things, organizations are taking advantage of these technologies primarily, maybe not primarily, but largely to help them on the journey to automation. So much of what IT needs to do today, managing virtual workloads and hybrid environments, bursting. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto North 5th Avenue. And reducing utilization in different scenarios depending on the business of time, meeting demands of business users, especially the So much of that can be optimized by incorporating more automation into IT service delivery. And technology is getting to the point now where that's the reality. Configuration and the setup is going to go into it significantly. But once that's in place, it can greatly reduce the amount of time that the IT organization has to take care of mundane support tasks. So if you're adopting machine learning and the same technologies into your provider space and into your own IT organization, that's a critical step for long-term success in automation. The ongoing analysis that's going to be required to determine what customers are looking for when they need it can't be done by people alone. There have to be all the right levers in place and all the pieces working time to really take advantage of and have that technology to improve the customer's experience overall. Adam Tuberin, customer service expert, keynote speaker, frontline trainer, and author, says data drives more relevant products and services as well as better support. In 200 feet, turn right toward North 5th Avenue. Turn right for North 5th Avenue, then turn left onto North 5th Avenue. Amazon, they are now collecting data like in so many different areas of your life as well. For shopping, for video usage, music, and now, even more than before, to groceries. And if you think something like a traditional brick and mortar company, they're getting more familiar with what they're getting at, and this little platform here. AI and they're also chatbots. They're using a lot. And what's happening is everything. It's not only about the customer experience and the customer service. I don't know what technology you want me to do. It's, it's it's where you want me to go? Also giving them a base of knowledge they can use to serve customers. And that's where it really ties into support. Because in theory, the better your products, the fewer issues you have, and the more easily solvable those issues will be. So if you're providing more relevant products, more relevant services, you're addressing customer needs and desires better, and you're leaving less room. Turn right onto North Second Street, then turn left onto North Fourth Avenue. Disappointment. And also, what you learn from many customers can often be applied when working with one customer. So what you're collecting, that data, you can develop profiles on, you can develop insights into your customer behavior, and that can inform how you support an individual customer. And finally, Tim Crawford, CIO Strategic Advisor at Avoa, explains how machine learning helps organizations be more proactive. Machine learning and IoT actually provide the insights to... Turn left onto North 4th Avenue. ...health systems understand the current state of the user before the user asks a question. So whereas early support systems would ask basic questions, have you tried this, have you tried that, what's your current uh, configuration, what's the current application or version you're working with... In 1,000 feet, turn right onto West River Parkway. The system can automatically go out, pull that information, assemble a list of what is critical with that combination of configuration, and then be able to target a very specific answer to the user without having to go through some of those tier one questions. It really speeds up the process and therefore has a much more positive uh, interaction for the user as opposed to spending the first 15 minutes or 30 minutes just going through basic troubleshooting that the username already done. How is digital transformation changing support? It's enabling organizations to better know their customers and anticipate their needs. It's unlocking new channels for customer interaction and promoting both self-service and better informed live support. All of these tools and technologies can lead to a better customer experience, but only if businesses embrace the changes. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Customer Support Podcast from SAP. Subscribe now to learn more and check back for our next episode, Future Proofing Customer Support, What We Need to Help Customers Succeed. Turn right onto West River Parkway. Hi, welcome to the sixth episode of the Customer Support Podcast, and this is your host, Sandeep Jain. In this podcast, we invite thought leaders from customer support function, from both B2B and B2C companies, so that you can learn about challenges, opportunities, and best practices around setting up a world-class support function. Can't argue with that.
hardly hear anything. Going downhill. And this is one reason why a lot of times I listen to music because the talk shows are not uh, recorded at a high enough volume to be able to hear anything. give a little kick. Doesn't help with the uh, endurance though. In 800 feet, turn right onto 11th Avenue South. Turn right onto 11th Avenue South. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Hiawatha Bike Trail. yesterday but I guess we only went on the oh we didn't go on it yesterday turn left onto Hiawatha bike trail we didn't notice it Friday That's what I wanted to notice. 
There was a truck that was parked there, so... In a quarter mile, no, turn right slow. to stay on Hiawatha bike trail. I was able to hear that first on this one, not so much. I don't want to stop to put on music though. I don't know why I'm on echo. <laughs> oh, I know why. It's because I... I turned it down when I went out to the, uh, when I was at that stoplight. I had time to play. I mean, I could make time. I suppose. I could quit Black Sonic. Stay on Hiawatha bike trail. So, is this similar to how you would think of a customer success person doing, like onboarding the rules? I mean, I guess I was on the bike for four hours. In half a mile, continue straight to stay on Hiawatha bike trail. to stay on Hiawatha bike trail. I would use that and I would use that as a better doctor. What you do is when you're talking to the other lady, 
In 600 feet, turn right to stay on Hiawatha bike trail. Mm, they're gonna have me go over the overpass or not? I don't remember. Turn right to stay on Hiawatha which bike trail, trail is then turn which. right on the Midtown Greenway. Turn right and turn right. That sounds like go up the up the thing. Turn right onto Midtown Greenway. Yeah. Turn right. Like this. A nice view of uh, downtown here. I haven't been on this thing very much. I don't I don't come not on the trail all that often. I think I came up it. No, I have. I went down that way one time. In 800 feet, keep left to stay on Midtown Greenway. Keep the 